All right, we back. Mercy Sports Talk, your boy CJ Goodfellow. CJ Mosey ends up signing with the New York Jets. I think it was 84, 85 million, um, 51 million guaranteed. Obviously, the Lions missed out on the free agent. I thought they should get the most. But, um, you know, life goes on. You know, at the end of the day, they still do have a starter in Jared Davis who's still young, who's still learning, who still should be improving. Uh, but obviously, they was trying, they was in, they was in, you know, the running to get CJ Mosey. So, they know they have a middle line a crisis at middle linebacker. We we'll see if they go with Bush or White in the draft. You know, obviously they got Trey Flowers, Jesse jo- Jesse James, Dami Amendola, and Justin Coleman. Um, yesterday I went live. I did a little rant, um, but a lot of people weren't agreeing with me what I said about Trey Flowers, and it is what it is, man. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel the way I feel, and um, I think it was a stupid ass move. I'm gonna say it again. It was a stupid ass move, but. They didn't get C.J. Mosley. That's the guy they should have been really getting, trying to get first and put their eyes on first. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, middle linebackers, you know, they a dime a dozen, man. They it's, You know, there's not too many good ones in the league like that no more. It's not no many, you know, Navarro Bowmans and Patrick Willis and Luke Keekleys, you know, walking around. But the Jets had over 100 million in cap space, so they could have did whatever they wanted to do. So, I understand why the Lions didn't go after um, Mosley or Landon Collins and then land them. They got monster deals. You know, and, you know the Redskins throw out monster deals to Landon Collins, but it never worked when they throw out monster deals. You know, the Jets are desperate to put something together, but Mosley went for the money. That team ain't going to be no good. I'd say that right now. They can add Le'Veon, too. Sam Darnold's just not that good. You know, but, you know, you want you want, I want to see Mosley here. That was the top guy, but you move on from it, it ain't. The worst case scenario, I know Bob Quinn tried to get him. The Jets had deeper pockets, so you know he going over to the Jets. It was a, it was a, uh, it was a good fit for them. Good fit for them, man. But I just felt like Mosey would really help solidify the middle for us. Um, you know, a linebacker that can stop the run, that can play the pass. You know, a little bit bigger than Davis. He was another undersized kind of linebacker, but he played bigger than what he was, you know, than what he is. You know, you know, Baltimore, he able to stop the run, plug the holes, and cover so we gotta find I don't know I don't know we gotta find at least somebody on the outside. You know, Anthony Barr went to the Jets. They got CJ Mosley. So the Jets trying to do it, do it. But um, you know, Lions gotta keep pushing in free agency, see what they can come up with. And uh, you know, we move on. You know, like I said before, they identify Trey Flowers as the guy they want to spend money on in a year of deep defensive end draft. Which was stupid, but a lot of people going to drink the Kool-Aid, and at the end of the day, we'll see how it turned out. But congratulations, C.J. Mosley. Um, guess we move on and look at it. Um, more linebackers and free agency in the draft. It's more C Sports Talk. Appreciate everybody for checking in. And don't forget to check us out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Reach out to the email as well if you got a question, inquiry, business question, sponsorship, whatever situation may be. And uh, much love. We on.